Hey everyone, Alex Tardy here, here to talk about the uh, heat wave coming up. Let's look at the heat risk uh, and how that evolves or increases as we go into this heat wave. Here's a summary. So we've had a hot summer, especially inland areas, record hot for the mountains and deserts. We've also had a monsoon that's been below average. What we're going to talk about this week is excessive heat warning that's in effect. Uh, that's because moderate to areas of major heat risk. Possible impacts all the way to the coast where there's a heat advisory in effect. Now, as far as record warm, we've seen warmer. So back in 2020 and 2022. We also have some concern with elevated fire weather conditions due to the heat. Though we do see a monsoon return potentially for the weekend. Okay, quick recap. June, July was much warmer than average, and that was for the inland areas as shown here. The coast was actually close to normal, just slightly above normal. Now, if we look at the month of August, which now we're in September, August numbers are in. Inland areas were much above average, but not record overall. Uh, the monsoon over the southwest was much below average as shown here. Now, we did have a little bit of rain along the coast, um, but that doesn't take much this time of the year. The area we focus is the deserts and the mountains, and they were much below normal. Now, for the month of August temperatures, we did see continued warm conditions, warmer than they should be in the southwest. You can see that in the San Diego mountains and deserts and the Coachella Valley, temperatures were several degrees above average. We can also see there was a little bit of a monsoon and it was just focused on the San Diego mountains as shown here, came out right around normal. Now for July, August combined, uh, because July was so hot, we can see the dark red shaded record warmth for inland areas of Southern California. Record warmth in the dark red areas. Those are the mountains and deserts of Southern California. And just a little bit above average for coastal areas. So also when you look at temperatures for July and August combined, uh, several degrees above normal. That's an anomaly as shown here on the left-hand side. And then when you look at precipitation for July and August, the monsoon, you can see there's a little bit of an anomaly over the San Diego mountains, but it still came out below average. Okay, what do we got in store this week? And the reason why we showed those maps before is that overall the coast and part of the inland valleys have been spared uh, by the summer heat. It's been slightly above normal. The areas that have not been spared are the mountains and deserts. And all areas are in the excessive heat warning, the highest level of warning, except for our coastal areas. So we do expect impacts on our coast where you see that heat advisory. So. In other words, we're seeing some of the warmest temperatures of the year for the coast and valleys. Take a look at some of the records though. In order to beat the records, we have to beat the big heat wave of 2020. 2020, early September, saw incredible hot temperatures uh, all the way almost to the coast, 115 at Escondido. So we're not expecting those type of numbers and therefore records may be limited uh, overall with this upcoming heat wave. Heat risk. This is what's causing us to issue a heat warning and an advisory for the coast. So it's going to expand and increase rapidly, Wednesday to Thursday. Thursday, you see widespread red, which is widespread major heat risk. So this means temperatures day and night are much above normal compared to the 30-year average. When we get into Friday and Saturday, we see no relief on Friday. That could be our hottest day. And then we start seeing a relief, especially on the coast and some of the inland desert areas on Saturday. So two things go on. Marine layer tries to rebuild by Saturday. So that's why we see some cooling along the coast. And then over the deserts, we see potential for some monsoonal moisture, which will shave the daytime temperatures. Here's some Raw numbers for Wednesday through Saturday. We're talking temperatures in the Inland Empire, 105 to 110. Uh, temperatures well in the 90s on Wednesday for inland valleys. Now, when we get into Thursday, this will really be felt across inland valleys. 
with hot temperatures, even above average temperatures. And we're talking temperatures hotter than we've seen so far this entire summer for places like Escondido, Ramona, and potentially Anaheim, and just the inland areas. On Friday, that could be our peak. That could be our hottest day. And don't forget, nighttime temperatures will be getting warmer during this period. We do see a little bit of relief on Saturday for coastal areas, and we shave off some temperatures in the deserts due to monsoon moisture coming up from the south. But still hot for the weekend. This is what it looks like for the monsoon threat starting this weekend. It'll be mainly for the high elevations of the mountains like Big Bear down to the San Diego Mountains. The weather pattern that's causing this. So it's like all of our weather patterns that cause heat waves. An upper ridge in the atmosphere, 10, 20,000 feet, big dome of warm air sitting right over us by Thursday, pressing down on us, bringing those excessively warm temperatures. It starts to weaken on Friday and shift to the east. And then by Saturday, it's over the Four Corners area, and that allows the door to open for some monsoon moisture. Next week, some good news. We have a general weather pattern that suppresses the extreme heat. So while temperatures still will be normal to slightly above early next week, we see a cooling and drying pattern, monsoon moisture getting pushed to the east, and cooling, meaning this upper level trough along the west coast will allow the marine layer to build. And that just basically brings you more cooler temperatures, or at least back to normal. Here's some resources. Take a look at these, okay? These resources are available to anyone uh, with internet connection, and I recommend you checking out some of the links shown here. Stay cool, everyone. Drink lots of water and take frequent breaks during the heat wave.